hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we are going to create a tesla logo so let's get started so at first let's click on new and unclick the default template and let's enter our part name as um yeah tesla oops sorry tesla and uh, the score logo okay so let's click on ok and then our template as yaman yeah, spot solid abs okay good so here like i don't have any exact dimension for this logo so i'm just going to place my image here okay for a reference image okay so let's click on uh, import front plane and let's select our image here and then let's set the transparency as zero and then some transparent color for this okay looks good so let's go for the front view and let's place this at the center point here like uh, we don't want to place exactly like uh, when you see here not exactly like this like let's place somewhere like this okay so then we can able to change it uh, afterwards okay. so the width as um, I have a value of uh, let's fix a standard value for this okay 400 so based on that uh, this height also will be changed according to that okay so let's click on okay so then we have imported our image so that we can convert this into our 3d model by using this as a reference right so let's select the front plane and let's go for the sketch and then let's go for the sketch view so here we have to trace everything here okay so uh, we can't use our project tool here like because this is a kind of image right so we can't able to take a reference on this image so instead of that we can able to create um like we can use all these tools to bring this exact um shape okay so um yeah here i'm just going to draw an arc um yeah from here till here and then um, yep it should meet uh, the surface like this okay good so then one more arc yep, somewhere like this and some other like this and this will be also um a kind of uh, tangent like a perpendicular feature for this line this center line vertical center line so the next arc is like uh, yeah, from here till here and then um yeah okay so let me just uh, plot a point at a different area so as you can see here like I, I like i have said this in previous video itself like when we are using like a like when we are using like an image for our reference when you move this cursor like uh, you can able to see that um like the speed is very low as you can see here yeah like the cursor moves first but on uh, the point as you can see here that is uh, coming back to the cursor like this will be like the speed will be very low because we are using image right so we have to do this um, at a very slow process right so let's click on uh, i don't want to use any kind of uh, tangent feature or equal constraints for this an arc and one more arc from here um yep like let me take this as reference like this okay one more arc a tangent to this edge like or else like let's edit this arc itself like a uh, we go for the arc again let's select this and let's select here and let's draw an arc like this and one more arc tangent to this okay. like anyway like this looks good it has a tangent feature here right so the next thing here is like i just want to create only one side sketch here so that we can able to mirror this on the other side because these two dimensions are same right on the both sides so we can use mirror tool here okay to reduce our time consumption so from here till here one more arc like this okay i think i have placed the point um somewhere else like at this edge at this edge and this will be like a very minimum arc here okay and one more arc from this point to this point and this um reference mark here okay so then 
I just want to um, draw a line from here from yeah, till here as a midpoint and one more line from here till this bottom of the sketch okay, um, yeah, let me just reduce this okay so we can select everything here as you can see there is only three dots here we missed to close them like four dots so let's select all this and let's go for the mirror let's select the center line and now we can able to see that we have completed our sketch this has got a highlighted in pink color but you can't be able to see right it is very hard to see this because we have placed our image with red color so that it may overlap um, like this okay it looks good so the next thing here is we need to create a text exactly here so you may have a question like we can able to create this text by using this text option so then what's the purpose uh, like we can use this text tool itself so why do we need to trace this text to because like when we go for the text okay let me just like this and then you go for the font we can't able to find the exact font which has been used for here because this is a font which has been built by the tesla so we can't able to use this font uh, in this video okay so for this we can't able to use this text tool so we have to create this by our own by drawing lines on this okay so if you want to practice this sketch tools like what are all the tools available on the sketch you can directly go on with this so that um, like you can use uh, various tools like a uh, line tool or tool um, and somewhere like uh, fillers under round under chamfer tools if you want to use any kind of tools you can use here because this will be like a normal sketch like we we have a trace feature here right so we can build this without any dimensions okay. so then uh, arc like this equal constraints okay good so this this sketch has been completed so the next part here so a line from here till here and from here till here from here till here and from here till here and then one more line so this this length will be different like uh, let me just show you if we trace the previous start point like you can able to see that that will be started here but here we have to start from here so we i don't want to use any kind of constraints here like equal and like a vertical coincidence feature i don't want to use any feature here so then we need to create an arc on the both sides equal and for this okay like we have a tangent feature for this okay and um yep, i think this will be fine on the opposite side we have to use either you can use or else like let's use this horizontal constraint so the next for this equal constraints and for this equal constraints okay. So next the, for this, so this will be like very easy. Like we can draw multiple lines for this, like this, one more line like this, one more like this, and up to this. So then we can start from the bottom, like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. So then an arc from here. I don't want to use tangent constraints here so like this and uh, from here till here and yeah like this so this has been completed so the next sketch will be like um, for this so let's um, draw this by using line itself okay so like this like this like this and like this the so next one will be arc from here okay i don't want to use tangent constraints here so equal okay so then this will be our last text right so let's go for the line from here till here and from here till here like um make sure guys like while you are doing this like we may like we have drawn many lines right 
so it may uh, have some equal constraints or like a tangent feature or it like any kind of feature like it will it may be overlap sometimes so whether make sure like that you are drawing a line um, with the exact uh, dimension which you have noticed in this reference okay so like uh, let me just show you if you want to draw a line up to this but here you can be able to say this is got equal constraints but we need this line to be placed here okay so this is what i am trying to say here so um line up to this and up to this and this and up to here and up to here and then bottom and then this face and then towards the top so we have completed all of our sketches here so let's click on ok and let's go for the view model display images let's hide this image and then let's click on it so now you can able to see that we got our um, sketch feature here which we have used by tracing this image okay so the next thing here is we need to extrude this so let's select this sketch let's go for the model extrude let's go for shading with edges and i need this to be a symmetric extrude with the extrude value of um yeah let me just uh, type 10 here okay so now you guys can able to see like we have created this tesla logo here okay so this is a kind of very similar part but for the text we need to work um somewhat more um uh, like some more um bigger than we have worked for the logo right so because um like i said before this particular text is not available on the screen like uh, in the text tool so we have to draw this by our own by using this line and arc tools okay so the next thing here is coloring so let's go for the view and let's give um, uh, exact full red color for this part and then let's click on okay now either like you can have this on view on a shading with reflection but like you can able to see this is the kind of uh, i think this will be on the paint feature here right so if we give <coughs> excuse me if we go for the plastic and you may have some um, different view for this as you can see the reflectivity is like a little less when compared to the metal and if you want this to be a rubber part there will be no reflectivity like for this and for the ceramic yeah it may have some little like uh, you can see there will be little reflectivity but i suggest like uh, we can use um, either misc or um, yeah i forgot like metal like this metal feature here but if you use metal feature like with the reflections now we can able to see the red color right but if you go more towards upwards we can able to see black color because on the back side it will be reflected with the light okay so um, i think this red is fine but i just want to use misc here okay if if you need to reduce the intensity you can able to use this and let's check whether this have full red feature here yeah 255 and zero zero okay good so let's close this and uh, you may have a view on the shading with edges or shading with reflections okay so um thanks for watching guys so that's all for this video so we will um see on the upcoming video with a very very interesting content so if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe like i will upload videos based on creo and power bi on a daily basis so and also don't forget to like this video guys okay so thank you guys. Like we will see you next video. Until then, bye.